Hundreds of people have left on foot after the Israeli army ordered them to evacuate Gaza's main hospital on Saturday. According to the French news agency AFP, more than 2,000 patients, medical staff members and homeless people were trapped in the hospital due to the war between Israel and Hamas. An AFP journalist saw people walking on the road heading south. Officials at the Hamas run health department say 450 patients are in Al Shafa hospital because they could not be transferred. Israeli soldiers issued an order through loudspeakers on Saturday morning to evacuate Gaza's Al Shafa hospital in one hour. Gaza's largest hospital, Al Shafa Israel, has become the center of the Hamas war. Israeli soldiers conducted a search operation at the hospital to trace Hamas' hideouts. The war has entered its seventh week since Hamas attacked southern Israel on October 7. Israel claims that a Hamas hideout is under Al Shafa pistol, but the militant organization's officials deny the allegation. According to UN figures, 2,300 patients, staff, and displaced Palestinian civilians took shelter before Israeli troops moved in on Wednesday. The health ministry of Hamas has said that dozens of people have died as a result of a power outage in the hospital due to a lack of fuel. Israel has repeatedly ordered the hospital to be evacuated, but medical experts say patients cannot be moved. The hospital's director, Mohammed Abu Samia, told AFP that Israeli soldiers had instructed him to ensure the evacuation of patients, wounded, displaced persons and medical staff and that, that they go on foot to the coastal area. Evacuation order. Israel has asked Palestinians to leave northern Gaza for their own safety. On the other hand, Israel's aerial attacks on the central and southern parts of the coastal area are continuing. They said the south was safer, so we left, a resident, Azhar al Rafi, told AFP, but his family was caught up in an attack that killed seven relatives, including his five year old nephew. Israel has besieged Gaza and no aid is allowed to enter. Today, however, the first shipment of fuel entered Gaza after Israel, under pressure from the United States, allowed two diesel tankers to enter Palestine. Israel's national security adviser said, We made this decision to prevent the spread of the pandemic.